Barossa Valley was settled by a good number of folk that fled um, what is now Germany, Prussia, Saxony, Silesia, um, came this way for opportunity um, where things weren't going their way in, in Germany. Uh, many jumped on a boat and headed this way and at that time there was a fair bit of development happening, happening here in agriculture in the Barossa Valley and many made a new home here. Many of the old Lutheran names are still here today. Those that arrived back in the mid 1800s, um, you'll still see and hear the names mentioned, the surnames of these folks still in the neighbourhood. On our side of the family, my mum's family, the Semlers, arrived here in the mid 1800s, around 1853. And the Dutchkies um, arrived also in Lindock in 1848 and the Semlers are still actually on the same patch of land as that they started working back in the mid 1800s as there are many other um, families with old German names and old Lutheran backgrounds here. Many of the townships still support a number of Lutheran churches. I think there's four or five Lutheran churches just in the township of Tanunda that are busy every Sunday morning with the Schmitz and the Zegenschnitters and the Nitschkes and everyone. Yeah, back in 1990, um, Uncle Ken and I chose to start some wine production. He'd been selling grapes and he still continues to sell grapes to other winemakers in the neighbourhood. And we thought maybe we should make a bit of our own wine. I was already working as winemaker for another winery at the time, Mitchelton Winery, and thought I might just come back home and, and give it a shot at making wine for ourselves. What we do concentrate on is red wine and fortified wine. Red mainly from Shiraz, and that's what does best here in the Barossa Valley. Fortifieds um, are the wine style of the past that I grew up with as a kid. You know, it was the common drink to have port and sherry in the cupboard. These days, there's not so much of that made, but it was always an interest of mine and many wineries I'd worked with over the years concentrated in fortified wine and it was something I wanted to have a little bit of and um, these days we've got a nice little range of these fortifieds which include a musket, tokay, we don't call it tokay anymore unfortunately but um, topaque's the new name for that, we branded ours liquid amber. Have a fun one which is port aged in bourbon barrels and that adds a different character altogether. Um, Good old Spanish variety, Pedro Zemenez is another one we play with. But yeah, old, old great varieties that made fortified wine, you still can find in small quantities around here in the Barossa. And yeah, it makes a unique style of wine these days where it was quite a common practice to make this style many years ago. Wineries where I had been working, such as Yolumba and Grand Birch, had stocks of old tawny and were generous enough to allow me to purchase some of this old tawny to give me a kickstart in making a base material that I could add younger material to, younger fortified wine that we've been making here already, to give us a, an older wine that has now an average age of 22 years. Some of those old components that we purchased from Yolumba would have been going back to the 1970s and that could still be found in the current blend of this particular wine, our 22 year old tawny. The number one for us is probably our old Codger Tawny. That's an average age of eight years um, in barrel and made from a great range of varieties. Anything that grows on a grapevine is a target for this wine production. It's our largest selling fortified wine. It's a good drink, you know, it's got plenty of rancio and that's what you aim for. That takes time through oxidation in barrel and adds plenty of flavour. Since we built the winery back in 2004, Visitors who have come here to the winery, we get them to sign a barrel. And any barrel that we've had with signatures on, we've, um, even after having got the full use out of these barrels, we have actually kept the barrel heads so we can display the, the autographs and the comments that people have made during their visit here in the Dutchkey winery.